Hey, welcome back to Cracks Country Cooking. I'm Ben. Today, we're making chicken sandwich. Everybody makes a big deal with Chick-fil-A and Popeyes and KFC. I don't see what the big deal is. They're just garbage. It's not that hard to make it at home, and it's a lot cheaper. We're gonna start with the chicken. First thing we're gonna do is the kosher salt, sugar, and some MSG. Filet, KFC, Popeyes, they all use it. And we're gonna take our chicken thighs, caught up any excess fat. Chicken thighs are better. Okay, place your chicken in the container. Now we're gonna season it with our MSG sugar salt mixture. Make sure to coat everything well. All right, we'll place this chicken into the fridge while we get the other stuff ready. All right, in a medium sauce pot, we're gonna put in distilled vinegar, water, sugar, salt, MSG. Stir that up, bring it to a boil. Now we'll take our English cucumber, unwrap it because it came individually wrapped. Okay. We'll set the mandolin to about four millimeters and we'll see what that looks like. Do five millimeters, just a little thicker. Now we'll slice these. Yeah, just about that. Slice these until you feel it's too dangerous to keep going. This will take your fingers right off. That's as close as I care to get today. Mason jar. We'll put a couple garlic cloves crushed. Some fresh dill. Start putting our cucumbers in there. Sometimes they roll away on you. Right as our pickling liquid just starts to boil, we'll take it off and then we can pour it in to our mason jar. All right, we'll let that cool. Now for our buns, we're gonna start by making a tangs on. So we got some water, milk, and some all-purpose flour. Less than a minute, over medium heat, you got your nice tangs on paste. Let that cool down a little bit. While that cools down, we're gonna take our water and milk mixture. We're gonna add brown sugar, give that a stir. We're gonna add some bread machine yeast. When making bread, because it's got conditioners in it to make the dough softer. Now we'll add 525 grams of bread flour. And to that, we'll add 10 grams of salt. After about 10 minutes, our yeast has bloomed. We'll turn that on one, let it start mixing. Next, we'll add our tangs on. We'll add one egg and one egg yolk. Some softened butter. All right, we'll put a little flour down on a work surface. And roll the dough out. Knead it by hand. All right, that looks good. Now we'll place it in a greased container with a lid and let it sit for an hour to hour and a half. Now that our dough has doubled in size, we can roll it out onto a work surface. Bring end over end, roll it over. We're gonna go with 110 gram pieces. After 20 minutes, take the cheesecloth off. We'll brush them with a egg wash, just a egg and milk mixture. Brush all sides. Okay, we'll put these in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Then we'll check them and probably rotate them. After 20 minutes, the buns are done. Brush them with some melted butter and then let them cool on a wire rack. Now let's get our chicken ready. Now that's done brining. Place it right in the egg mixture. Make sure it gets coated on both sides. Also, don't wanna forget, you wanna put some of this 
egg mixture into your flour. A couple tablespoons. Press that in. Make sure there's no bald spots. Take off the excess, place that off to the side. Just keep repeating that until all your chicken's done. Got our oil at 350 degrees. Use a uh, binder clip on the edge of your pot that'll hold your thermometer in there nicely. So we'll place a couple of these in at a time and let them go to their golden brown. After about five minutes, they'll start to float. Nice golden brown. They're ready to sit on a wire rack and cool down. And drain. Just keep repeating this process till all the chicken's done. Of course we need french fries. You can get these on Amazon way easier than uh, slicing it by hand. Need a little bit of muscle. There you have it. Now place those into some water. I'll keep them from oxidizing. Rinse off some of the starch. After 20 minutes, I poured them in a strainer, rinsed them off. I will place them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Bake them at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Then we'll remove them from the oven. Let them cool on the counter for 15 minutes and place them in the freezer until we're ready to use them. Now it's time for the french fries. Nice and frozen. Split them in half. We'll do two batches. We'll throw this batch in first. All right, these got a good color on them. We'll let these drain on a wire rack. Oh no, I lost one. We'll let this oil catch back up and we will throw the second batch in. Once the second batch is done, I let the oil come back up to temp, 375. And now I'll throw all of them back in just to crisp up. Just for about a minute or two. For season our fries, I'll put some kosher salt, granulated garlic, a little bit of pepper, paprika, and some granulated sugar. Mix that all up. Point. I'll pull these out, put them on a wire rack. to drain for a minute. All right, now they're all out. I'll put them in this bowl. Season them with our french fry seasoning. Well, now we're ready to build our sandwich. Let's get started. For a sauce, we're gonna use some mayo and some whole grain mustard. We go with that. Take our bun, beautifully toasted. Put a little bit of our mayo, mustard, dressing on there. I hate Chick-fil-A serves theirs dry. Next, we'll place some of our homemade pickles on here. Some of our chicken. Tomato. A little bit of lettuce. Top it off, put the top on. 
Now it's time to eat. Look at this. You're gonna tell me that's not better? Homemade pickles, dressing, breaded our chicken ourselves. And we fried it out on the Weber so the house doesn't stink, which is a plus. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. My word, that is excellent. It's ridiculous. Can't forget the french fries. Perfect. All right, ready? Three. One, two, three. Take a bite. Mm. Mm. It tastes good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it better than Chick fil A? It is good. Yeah. I like it. You want to try my pickles, I mean? Mm -hmm. Pickle? You want to buy a piece, piece of chicken? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> so that's our video today. Hit that like and subscribe button. Watch our past videos. We have more videos coming out every week. Chicken sandwich at home tastes way better than anything you can buy at any store. Same goes with the french fries. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Threads, of course, YouTube. Go to cracksCountryCooking.com. You can get our seasonings and rubs there. There's recipes. It's dinner time. Yeah.